Hello guys, my name is Sasha and these are the uh, this is the instruction video for the guide on how to create professional looking CSGO Go TV streams and demos. For that we first need a server where you have Archon access. You need to have a server where you either can talk with the admin or you have Archon access yourself. We're going here to the spectator view. We can now freely move around and we see it's all set up standard. The first thing we want to do is get the Archon access if you have the password. So type in archon underscore password and then the archon password. Now we can use the convars from the guide in order to set the team names, team flags, team logos, match stats, team odds and the server graphics. But as the server is uh, not offline you need to write archon in front of every comment you do. Let's begin with the team names. I'm just going over the examples of the guide so you can follow here all the steps. The first thing we're going to do is the team name. So we're going to set the first team name which would be MP team name 1 invincible. And in front of that you have to add Archon. As you see, the city side, or from the spectator view, the left team has changed the name to Invincible. Now we're going to do the same. You can cycle through the last comments you made if you press the up the arrow up. You just press that and you can go to the last comment you made and you can just replace the one with the two and you can replace that with the next name. Uh, in this case I'm going to take a little different example. I'm just going to take Fnatic. So the right team is now Fnatic. The second thing we want to do is set the team flags. I'm going to put a link in the description where you can see all the alpha 2 codes because we need these codes to set the flag. For invincible for example we're going to s set the German flag. So mp underscore team flag 1 de and don't forget the archon in front of it. As you see there's now a German flag next to Invincible. And now the same for MP Team Flag 2. We're going to set a Swedish flag. The official shortcut for that is SE, not SW. Great. We have that done. Now we're coming to the team logos. So we need to convert MP Team Logo I'm going to set Fnatic first, so MP Team Logo 2 and their team logo, uh, their file for that is called FNTC. And don't forget the Archon. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description where you can see uh, all the official pro logos and their shortcuts which you can use here. For Invincible I'm going to use a custom logo. I've put the custom logo on the server directory and on in my uh, own CSGO directory as well and I called it NVC. MP team logo 1 NVC. As you see when you set both a team flag and the team logo 
the team logo will be in front of the flag and the flag gets bigger but darker and it's blurred out. That was a question uh, which was in the comments for the guide from C1 I think. Okay, we have that done. Now the next thing is uh, the match stats. Now that's going to be interesting. There are multiple ways of using that actually. Uh, in my guides example I w was just uh, showing you how you could use it for a best of three format for example. So we're going to type MP team match set. We're going through the description first MP team match set TXT uh, and we're writing just match let's say three of three. That would mean that Invincible and Fnatic both have one point, right? So we for both teams have to add the information that they have a point. So remember number one is left team, number two is right team, so MP team match stat one is for invincible. We have to set this to one. Actually I forgot the arc on here. As you see it's now uh you can see it now up there below the rounds. And of course MP team match stat two Fnatic has one point as well. Our count. We have now uh, some uh match stat information which which we can see right here. We can also change that of course. We can just say match three or five for example. So that means for example that Invincible didn't win any round, so we put a one a uh, zero, I mean. And Fnatic won the last two maps. So we put a 2. And now they're fighting for the third map. That would look like this. But there are also other uh, possibilities to use this, right? Let If you just uh, put two quotation marks, it's just empty. So it gets removed. So we're going to do that for now. And we're going to change the description team match that txt. We could also write something like decider match. So it gets changed here. And uh, then we can say for fanatic or, well, yeah. For example, MP team match stat one, uh, 2. For Fnatic it's 2. Uh, something like proceeds with win to quarterfinals. And for the other team, I'm going to change this to 1. Uh, we can write something like, I don't know, is out of the tournament with a loss. For example, the map is already uh, here. Yeah, now we can see it. That's uh, also a possibility how you can use that. Obviously the minimap is a little bit annoying there, but it's okay. Okay, now the la one of the last things um, before we're going to the server graphics, the odds for the match. This, this uh, function was used for example with the majors when they were showing the odds of the teams uh, from this pick'em 
thing, you know, with the stickers which you can do. So it shows which or how much people in which team voted. Usually, in Fnatic had like 99% or something. And uh, I'm going to show you how this works. So again, MP team prediction. TXT sets again the description just like with team match stats. So we're going to say, for example, CSGO lounge odds. Don't forget the archon in front of the comment. Um, the thing is that it's all switched between we the team match stats and the odds. So let's add some bots uh, so we, you can see it actually. Okay, hold on. Let's end the warm up. Now take a close look to the match stats. It should switch uh, to the odds. Um, or I think we have to set the odds first. It doesn't switch, I think. No, it doesn't. We have to set the odds first. So um, we have set the team prediction txt, right? Actually, we didn't. Okay, let's do this. First, Archon MP Prediction TXT CSGO Lounge Odds. It's a little bit confusing for you guys. I uh, hope not that. Huh? Sorry for that, someone was in my room and I'm not really interested in re-recording the whole thing again. Okay, we were at the MP or at the, at the uh, odds information. So we have set the MP team prediction stuff here, which is uh, CSGO lounge odds as you see here. We have set that. Now we can set the odds for each team. MP team prediction percentage or PCT, you can so now set odds for each team. You set the odds for the left team, the odds for the right team are cal uh, calculated automatically. So let's say 12% for Invincible. We're going to type 12 and uh, I'm going to restart the game so you can see how it looks then. You see? CSGO launch odds, 12% for Invincible, 88% for Fnatic. Probably not very realistic because um, Invincible would be would have like 1%. CSGO launch odds. So each round it either shows the odds of the game or the match stats like uh, match 2 of 3 or something or the other example. So, uh, for example, if I kill now all the CTs, Bomb has been well, it seems that source mod is not working um, properly, or he's just defusing. He doesn't get it. Very interesting match here. Vlad Vladimir trying to get some exit kills, but the bomb is actually taking it down as well. As you see, also Fnatic wins the round, and it shows the logo there. If you have seen that, it shows again the odds. So. 
so it's uh, basically always random which stat is shown, either odds or the match stat. And there you have it, basically. But whatever, we have that set. Uh, if you're gonna watch the match, you will see both stats will be shown in the demo and in the GoTV stream. Let's uh, get to the last point, the server graphics. Server graphics are kind of buggy. At least the second server graphic. But it's very easy to set up. You just have to uh, create two graphics. The first one being 360 by 60, which will be displayed below in between the HP and ammo and the second is usually displayed above the right team. Um, this time it's not an MP team convert, it's a SV server graphic one and you have to put your graphic which you created into the CSGO root director of the server and then you just type in the name of it in this case I called it banner unten dot png and the same goes for the other graphic as well SV server graphic 2 banner oben dot png Archon Now all these uh, comments Oh by the way, now you see it says the cider met, match So it's switching between the stats, just saying The good thing is you do not need to restart the server for most of these comments But only for SV server graphics, so we have to reload for that the map. As you see down there, let's add some bots. As you see down there, um and at the right team the server graphics are working just fine so server graphic 2 is the ECL uh, ESL ECA thing and server graphic 1 are the sponsors below so it's basically always between the HP and the ammo so sponsored by Invincible, Brazzers and Razer and yeah, all of that together should give you a pretty professional looking GoTV stream and demo. Because if you now record a GoTV demo with these settings set on this server, all the stuff will be s uh, visible on the GoTV demo as well. Thanks for watching, I hope it helped out and I don't know, follow my Twitch and uh, I'm going to upload some more tutorials I guess on how to uh, host a 10-man server for free or something. So stay tuned and have fun.